Hello and welcome back. Today's tutorial is going to be about how to implement gravity. Let's just get right into it. This is actually going to be a tutorial that I think is going to be a little bit more useful. Past ones were kind of basic, get you started, what's going to be happening type of thing. This is this is where things get fun. So let's go into our player object here. Where you want to be putting gravity is in your step event. Game Maker does have its own functions that you can apply gravity. It works, but does not work well. I'm going to show you why. So if we go in, you can set gravity. You can say gravity, make it equal to five, for the sake of things, and see what that looks like. Right off the bat, you're going to see just how broken things are. First, it's put us into the ground, and part of that, that's there's some reasoning behind that. I can show you better with this other room, I believe. So what happens with the in-game gravity from Game Maker? After you, in your type of events, you have all your game logic, all your code, what you want your game to do. Not until after all of that does gravity take effect. So gravity takes place after your step event. Why? I don't know. As you can see, though, it breaks things, and not in a way that you would ever want things to be broken. As soon as we disable that, just a proof of concept that what I'm actually going to be showing you works, let's delete that, and as you can see, having your own custom gravity is much less broken. In fact, some might say it's better. So now you see it, now you want it. So let's get over and show you how, to do, how that happens. What you're gonna do is you're gonna make a script. You're gonna right click, create script. You have your empty script and name it to whatever you want. Have fun with it. Um, I already have, have my script done and this is what we're going to be looking at. So, basically, three parts. First part is you're going to have some variable, name it whatever you want. Mine's just VS because I know it's related to my vertical speed. And personally, I think 1.25 works and it works well. I'll tell you later what that works for. But this is a directional check. So depending on your direction, this number changes, and that comes into play later. The actual gravity itself, this is where gravity logic happens. First part, first if statement is going to check if, if the collision happens, or is going to happen, I should say. And if it does, then you stop moving, and this piece of logic comes into play, which I'll describe soon. The final bit is... If you're not going to collide with something, you should be falling because there's gravity. So that, that pretty much sums up what this does, actually. He, if you're not going to fall into something, then that's what, then you're going to be falling. Gravity, right here. So let's actually explain this top part. So the, the reasoning behind this is 1.25 or just this number in general, gives a buffer zone for when you're falling. As you can see, I add it to my vertical speed. So what that's going to do is make it so that you don't get stuck in the ground and that that's more or less the why it's there. So you don't get stuck in the ground. It eliminates a few bugs. And here, your version won't have jumping or movement implemented just as this at this point. Haven't gotten that far. That's going to be in the next video. But once that's in, that number, if it's greater than zero in this case, it's, that means 1.25, then that means you have hit the ground because you are falling. So if, if you've collided with something and you were going downwards, you can jump now. So that's what that does. And I can't really summarize this any better, but 
basically, and this sets a maximum fall speed. Without it, if you're in free fall, then you will just be increasingly falling faster and faster by whatever you set this number to. And eventually, you'll fall faster than your screen re refresh rate, and you will move upwards. Or really strange bug I found is you move so fast that your player just disappears like it's no longer exists i don't know what happens there i think maybe game maker time travels your player somewhere or who knows but once it reaches a certain speed it's gone so once you have your script done you go back to your player object go to your step event Drag this piece of paper, have your script, gravity and collisions. I already have mine. But keynote, if you have an undefined script, the game will crash. So make sure you don't have any undefined scripts. I, I don't I don't think it code blocks like this. For whatever reason they don't they don't crash, but they delete themselves, so I guess that is more or less why I think scripts should do the same, but they don't. So just make note of that. But as you can see, with your new gravity, you fall. Not only do you fall, you hit the ground. So that code is in combination, added your gravity and your vertical collisions, both top and bottom. So. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments, and I will do my best to answer them. Otherwise, that is gravity. And next tutorial, we're going to actually go over how to implement your movement in your game using your keyboard input. And not only that, but I am very for player choice. So there's also going to be in that video how to allow the player to set up a config file that your game reads from that file the controls and saves those controls so every time you play the game the player has that choice of defining their own controls for the game and whatever those are set to the game knows how to use them so see you there like comment subscribe and see you in the next video